So hey everyone, welcome to the Jeep Life Podcast. We created this podcast to share our enthusiasm for the Jeep Life in the Northeast and all over with our fellow Jeepers and friends. We call those people lifers. Don, we're back together again. How you doing today? I'm good. Super stoked about this. Yeah, man. Episode two, who would have thought it? A thousand more to go. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. Now, we've changed venues. Um, we have upgraded in my mind. You know, before we were in um, a studio prepared for us, uh, you know, it was where you work. Yeah, it was right. Great. Yep. And it was perfect because we couldn't have been more surrounded by um, automotive technology. It was comfortable. It was a good vibe. Yep, yep. But I really feel like we've upgraded. We are in a a setting that, well, if you if you could see us, and maybe someday you'll be able to because we'll have it up on YouTube. But we have a beautiful Jeep behind us, and it, the setting couldn't be any better. No, I agree. It's kind of cool sitting in here recording, and we, we talked about maybe – Doing this more often, but we've got a 2018 lifted JK sitting behind us. And uh, so, you know, just a little more, adds a little more enthusiasm to it. And it, it definitely got my adrenaline going when yeah. I when I sat down in the seat right in front of it. I'm like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. The only thing missing maybe is, you know, a sponsor's banner behind us yeah, or something. You know? Absolutely. Um, but man, what a cool thing. And, you know, thanks for arranging for this studio space, if absolutely. you will. That's awesome. Um, we've we've had some really awesome things happen in the last um, couple of weeks. Our all of our social media has taken off. We're now officially on almost every um, platform: Google, Spotify, Apple. So we can be found at all those places. A quick Google search of the Jeep Life podcast, we pop up number one. Um, that's pretty cool. That is very cool. Very so, cool. A lot, has, a lot has happened, and you know, it, it's pretty cool. And between the last time we recorded was the Super Bowl. Did you watch the Super Bowl? Yes, I did. Yep. Did you happen to see the Jeep ad? Jeep ad, I, I think I had tears in my eyes. And um, part of it was, it was just such a cool commercial, but I think the other part of it was I laughed so hard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, first of all, Bill Murray, you know. Oh, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So. Bill's, Bill's awesome. So I don't know if you know anything about Bill Murray, is even though he's – quite possibly one of the biggest stars from the 80s, you know, between um, Saturday Night Live and some of the other comedy stuff and the movies that he did. Um, he's kind of a loner. He doesn't he publish his phone number. He doesn't really use an agent per se. Um, no social media. No social media, nothing. But he's not afraid to show up to somebody's wedding yeah. and, and clean their dishes. Right. So he's not afraid to, to do the human things. Mm -hmm. So Jeep... Was trying to figure this out, and they had an idea that Super Bowl Sunday was on Groundhog Day, which is kind of cool that, yeah. that, that 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 actually occurred. So the the marketing team said, "Hey, dude, there's nothing better than doing Groundhog Day as a commercial. Let's get Bill Murray. How do you get Bill Murray when he's not on the grid? You yeah. know? Yeah. And so then they finally just said, "Hey, we'll give up, and we just won't do anything this year." Right. Well, Bill Murray reached out to them and said, hey, I want to be involved with that. And there was no script. They went to literally, they worked with Sony and they went to the same town that that was filmed in, in Illinois, and they filmed it and just let Bill go. Mm -hmm. And you said it yourself, you, you laugh. You laugh and you cry because of nostalgia. Mm -hmm. I love that movie. Oh, absolutely. And it was one of his best works. Yeah. And, but it, you know, it, it's kind of a, a, a real nice twist when he comes out and says, oh, that's new, you know, and sees the that red gladiator. You know, I'm partial to the red, and I yep. love that gladiator. Yep. Uh, but the cool things he did with that, and if you haven't seen the extended cut, it's even better than the original 30-second shot. I, I, I think my favorite part of the commercial was the doors off. Oh, yeah. You know, you're going to sure. freeze in there. Yeah, there's always tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's so awesome, and it's perfect because, you know, it, uh, we live in the Northeast, and it's really, really cold. But if I get a chance, that top is going down. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, the doors are coming off. You know, let's not let's not break any laws, but, yeah, I've been known to break a few laws yeah. and taking my door yeah, off yeah. from here to there. Could be worse. It could be. So what a great commercial. You know, and I, I felt like, 
we were kind of validated with our community and our Jeep life by seeing that commercial. Yeah. yeah. Was it not, wasn't just spouting off the specs of the Gladiator no. and saying how many miles of the gallon it gets. It literally showed an excited Bill Murray getting out of bed every day to relive his day with his Jeep. Let me guess, Terry. It's the Jeep life. It's the Jeep life. That's right. You got it. You got it. So uh, I wanted I, I yeah. wanted to talk about that. I know we hadn't really spent any time talking about it, but I wanted to bring it up on air. I, I agree with you totally. It was a, um, you know, like I said, it's one of those where you, you, you're you uh, crying at the end of the commercial because you're laughing so hard. But it's also part of, like you said, it's about the validation process and that, you know, the Jeep life is recognized and that we're not just the redheaded stepchild. Um, you know, there's many more of us out there enough that they spent that kind of money on marketing during the Super Bowl to yeah, reach out, yeah. you know, and that that's cool. Yeah. It, and, and the fact that Sony and Jeep and Bill and Brian Doyle Mur Murray, his brother, all the original characters came back. Yeah. And I think that was just outstanding yeah, that that yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. you know, they paid attention to the details. Like it was actually done in the same bed and breakfast that that was done in the original movie. I hadn't noticed that. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, in the same town, everything was the same, even the restaurant where, you know. I noticed the town, not the B&B. &B. I should have put two and two together. Yeah, it was all the same. They paid so much attention right. to detail with this. Yeah. But again, there wasn't a script. Right. They just let him do his thing. And you know, he paid homage to the originals and you know, did his own thing. It was pretty awesome. You know, and that's Jeep for you. I mean, that's what they do. They pay attention to details. Yeah. I mean, that's that's in their vehicles. You can see that. Um, you know, f you know, and of course, I'm a I'm a technician by trade, and we see that in the alignments. You know, for example, oh, yeah. you know, you, where they have caster set, and and uh, you know, you see that and how the controls are laid out in the Jeep, and and uh, you know, that that's Jeep. That's what they do. They they pay attention to detail. You know, yeah. and so. I, I'm really glad that, you know, FCA didn't change that at all. No, that was a hands-off deal. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, you know, and, and, with, and with reason, because FCA's the biggest thing going right now is, right. The, is the Jeep brand, right? Absolutely. It's our um, hottest seller. It, it really is. And, and it's even with Ram trucks, yep. you know, in the mix. Yep. That Jeep brand is, yep. it's alive. Actually, it carried, Jeep carried uh, Chrysler through the recession. You know, yeah, it, yeah. it would have been a done deal if it wasn't for the Jeep brand. Yeah. So, you know, and I, I'm, people ask me all the time, why are you, why are you into a Jeep? And I, I work with a lot of technical people, mm -hmm. but their, their whole thing is, I need to get this many miles per gallon. Sure. You know, <laughs> to screw that, man, I want to smile when I drive. Yeah. I spend enough time in my, in my vehicle yeah. that I want to smile. Yeah. And we've yeah. talked about that. Yep. That, that yep. I get out of bed in the same way that, that Bill Murray did. Yeah. Excited. Looking forward to, to it. To go get in my Jeep, yep. you know. Yep. Um, but the cool thing you said about, about that is that whole top-down, doors-off experience. Mm -hmm. So one of the questions that I get asked most frequently, and this is the same question that I had when I was buying my new Jeep, um, soft or hard? And let your mind go for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'm okay, Terry. Where are we going with yeah. this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. soft core, hard core, or is it? Um, yeah. Or is it tacos? Do you do soft or hard tacos? Well, now that's a whole nother show, Terry, because yeah. I can go on and on about that. Yeah. So, do you prefer soft or hard tacos? I, so years ago, nothing but hard shell tacos. Today, I gotta say, you know, I, I'm I'm just a little bit neater than I was. I don't like the mess. I'm going with the soft shell taco. So that's interesting because when I was growing up, it was a novelty to get a soft shell taco. Right. Uh, tacos in general were a novelty right, when right, I was growing right. up. But a soft shell taco, that was even more so. So I did soft shell. And now if I find the right hard shell, we got that crunch without yeah. breaking. Yeah. Man, I'm all about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But in my Jeep, things are a little bit different. So I, I look at the Jeep behind me and it's got a beautiful soft top. And I think we're going to, Talk a little bit further on this particular um, soft top coming yep. up. Yep. Um, but the, one of the biggest topics I get is soft or hard. That's a hard choice for a lot of people. Yeah. You know, and it, it, I, for me, I drive a soft top. the The decision I made was was clear that I wanted a soft top. 
But why? You had a hard top. I did. For uh, so my first Jeep was a soft top, and we were talking about this earlier. I um, I didn't like it. It leaked. It was noisy. Um, now, granted, that was on a TJ. Um, switched to hard top when I switched over to my 2011 JK. Um, and we'll talk a little more about some of the things I liked and disliked later. But um, you know, as we as we roll with this topic, but the um, hard top was great. But I started to miss the the open air feel. So even if I wanted to take that freedom panel off um, and stow it, it had to be stowed in the back of the Jeep because you know it had leather, it had heated seats, it had the nav radio, um, and I certainly didn't want it rained on and and you know um, have a lot of expensive repairs and um, so I um, I didn't and to take the back half of the off, I, I don't know how heavy they are. Um, or maybe I'm just getting older, but the tail end of it, uh, last summer, I, I scratched a crap, scratched a shit out of the side of my Jeep, putting that on by myself. Oh, yeah. So, um, and now I've got the soft top again. We went back to the soft top and, and I'm digging it. You yeah. know, I don't have to store anything. If right. it rains and we're out, in a, you know, out for the day, just, just doing our Jeep thing. I just put it up. Yeah. Make a couple of windows that roll up and stuff in the back, but you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm it, tough question, but we'll, we'll elaborate on a little more. No, when, when I, when I was looking at my Jeep, I, you know, I'd had Jeeps before and they were all soft tops, like you said, and they were, um, very much, um, they were loud, oh, just yeah. loud. Yeah. And that was, that was a big downfall of my TJ. That Jeep was just loud to begin with four liter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and, and and you know, I didn't help. I it had an exhaust on it. That was an inline six. That was the inline right? six. Yeah. Yep, and a great engine, but it was loud. And, and uh, after O four, they actually shaved some of the weight from the block, so you hear some of the internals and the engine yeah, work, and yeah. you hear the combustion process a little more. But then there was that top, and and if my wife and I were out driving. There was no conversation no, on the highway. No, you no. turned the radio up and you, <laughs> right. you, know, you, you agreed to have that conversation after you were off the right. highway. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It, it, it was it was as loud with the top on as it was with the top off. <laughs> yeah, if not worse. If not worse, right? Because yeah. that thing was flapping. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't absolutely. Tight. Yep. It was, yeah, yeah. Um, and so that was my memory of a soft top. Um, right. So I was leaning in the hard top camp. Right. Because. Just volume, just sheer volume of, of decibels. And so I kept asking people, so what do you prefer? And you know, we're in the North Northeast. Winter sucks. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, there's no other way to around it. It's just shit for weather. Mm -hmm. Right now, outside, it's yeah. just awful. Yeah. Um, we don't even get the cool stuff anymore. No. We don't get <laughs> snow. We get like rain. It's 23 degrees out, and somehow it manages to rain in PA. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. That needs to be frozen or something. Yeah. Right. Um, but everybody I talked to, I want a hard top because I want it to be quieter. Yeah. All right. Well, what do you do with that hard top? I don't want to store it in my garage. Yeah. That's well, great. Takes I got, space. I got a one car garage. Yeah. Well, who comes helps you pull it off? Yeah. Well, I've got another friend of mine. Oh, so you, in order to take it off, you have to have a second person with you or some expensive contraption right? or some sort of thing hanging from your garage. That, right. Right? So I, I kept thinking and looking at to it and going, all right, the Freedom Tops are cool to be able to pop those out mm -hmm. and the rest of the top is on. But I know me. I'm super fucking lazy. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm... I didn't... If you could see me right now, I'm a bigger dude. I didn't get this from being super athletic and moving <laughs> around all the time. Sure. I did this because I took the shortcut for everything. I would never take the top off. I just wouldn't because it's just me pulling it off. And then yeah. where do I put it? Yep. And that's exactly what I ran into. Right? I mean, uh, my thoughts were when I got my hard top was, uh, oh, I can take this off. You know, I... Um, athletic or was um, athletic guy and, and uh, you know a wrestler for 12 years and and you don't understand you know 150 pounds doesn't seem that heavy until it's spread out to you know the, the dimensions of a, of a hard top and it's awkward and you've got to figure a way out to get it off the jeep and, and then uh, where do you go with it and then sure so you can hang it from the ceiling but they're still large and yeah, most garages yeah. are not that big you know and and uh um, 
I, I kind of... I lost my passion for that hard top over the years. I really did. Now, I'm not saying I won't have another one again, but right now I'm at a point in time in my life where I'm up for soft tacos, you know? Yeah. So. <laughs> I love it. And, you know, I, I was just exactly the same way. And But I will say that I, you know, when I bought my top or bought my Jeep, I bought the – it was – the two I was looking between, one had an amazing twill top on it, and yeah. one had the cell cloth. Yep. Um, lesser expensive. Right. Um, and the packages were about four thousand dollars difference right. at least, if right. not more. Um, and so I, being the cheapskate that I am, went with the lesser package, mm-hmm. which included that lesser top. Right. Which was still great because right. when I drove it, man, it was it was as quiet as I could imagine right um and you know my cross-country trip with my brother he brought his airline headphones with him because he thought it would be loud in there because his memory of being in a jeep was you know in the same jeeps that we were in as as younger yeah and it's just not that way anymore no it isn't they're they're totally different animals and and you know we can um you know, one of the other things that we were talking about before the, the podcast was the black one. Um, you know, it would leak, and oh, I would yeah. put a, I would put a door seal on it, and then that would fix it for you know a month or two, and then and then you know the header seal would leak, and I would put a new header seal on, and the other door would start leaking. You know, at the corner up by the uh, A pillar and, and the header seal, and I'd make yeah. adjustments, and we got super creative with these things where we were we were cutting the um, you know, the header seal and stuffing straws in it to get it to balloon back up and make <laughs> right, it wider, you know, right, and, right. and it would fix it. And then, you know, another leak would appear somewhere. And sure enough, I put this, uh, this Jeep that, that I have now, this 2018 Sport came with a, a hard top. Uh, this was like the last of the Mohegans, you know, right, uh, right. I sought this one out with my wife, um, you know, as the JLs were coming out and it was a stripped down hard top with no tinted windows. And I, I, we brought it back and decided that we, at the time we had two JKs and we decided that one had a hard top. Let's, let's put a soft top on one. And this thing is phenomenal. Um, you know, it hasn't leaked yet. Um, it's easy to take down and put it, this, it's a sun rider. So, you know, if I am out and, uh, it's raining and I catch a, a, a hole in the cloud, I can throw this, you know, front half of this back and, yeah. and, uh, you know, it's, it's great. I don't regret it one bit. It's not great for overlanding. It's not great for, you know, um, there's a couple other things, aspects that you got to look at. Like, you know, if you got to get in and out of the back of the Jeep a lot, you're unzipping the back window. And, um, so that's not a plus. Um, but you know, that's not, a lot of times why we own Jeeps, you know, we own Jeeps because we like that open air experience yeah. and it is hard yeah. to do with a hard top. Right. So, that was one of the questions I kept asking people. When was the last time you actually took your hard top off? Right. Right. And I might off three times in the time I owned my 2011 and we sold it this weekend. Yeah. So, oh, you know, we've well. had it since 2000 we didn't buy it new, but slightly used, um, in 2012 and, uh, it was off three times. Yeah. And that was it. Nobody took their soft top off. No. I mean, their hard top off. No. They wouldn't. No. Because it was a lot of work. Yeah. Right? And and if you get caught out yeah, in the rain. Absolutely. You're effed. Like I said, that was the 70th anniversary, so leather, heated seats, yeah. nav. I don't want to have to replace any of that stuff. Right. You know, I, I, I didn't want to have to worry about the leather seats ruined. This one's cloth, power, or uh, no power windows, you know, under manual windows. Yeah. And, so I'm looking forward to getting a shower in the gym. <laughs> right. Well, I, uh, it was just, I, if I had a dollar for every time my Jeep got wet, it would be paid off. <laughs> no kidding. And that's part of it. That's yeah. part of the excitement. You know, that's why it, it, it they have body is. plugs. You yeah. Know, to pull the plugs out and drain them out. Oh, you can pull the carpets out without a headache and, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I've, I've had three and a half inches of standing water on the inside of my Jeep. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, if, if, if that happened to a regular car. Total, you're, our you're total, total. Yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Yep. You're rebuilding that at best, yeah. yep. right? Um, and so it, I take my soft top down at any chance I get. Yeah. Last Monday, it was 58 50. degrees. Yeah, right, right. And you guaranteed that the soft top was, was right. off. Right. Um, now, I have upgraded my soft top. 
it is no longer the cell cloth. I took that off and sold it mm-hmm. and bought one of the tool tops. And it was one of the OEM tool tops made by Best Top. And what a difference. Yeah, so oh, tw- Twill that, is quieter for sure on the road. It's so quiet. Yep. It's and it's so soft, and the water beads up on it. it yeah. It's it's a luxury item. It, on my, it has a different look to it. it so does. the black is the, black, oh, you know, and that's that's cool. Yeah. And it makes yeah. my my yeah. my red Jeep really it stand pops. out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because I've 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 committed that nothing on the exterior of my Jeep, if it isn't red, it's black. If right. it isn't black, it's red. Right. There is, you know, I've, right. I've all the chrome parts I've painted over. Right. Everything's black. You've committed to the red or to yeah. black. Yeah. 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 And that really changed the look. Yeah. So it, it was pretty cool to do yeah. that. Yeah. Now, I can take my top down. I don't take it all the way off. I made that mistake twice. Mm-hmm. It's too fucking hard to get back on. It is the the, the hardware's yeah. tough. The, it's tough. The, yep. The um, you know the frame for it. I don't think that's the intention of it. You know no. what I mean? If you're going to do that, take it off, leave it off. Put a put a. Uh, uh, um, you can put a, like a bikini top on it. Yeah. Or well, they brief top if it's a four yeah, door. They yeah, call them. You know, yeah. and that was the word I was looking for, but. Um, it, it's too hard. You know, it, we were just talking about that. I, I think you know with this one here. You know, I'm I'm kind of aching for half doors and soft yeah, windows yeah. because I'm lucky enough I don't have to drive it every day. It yeah. can sit in the garage and and uh, you know I have a, uh, a, a, a Honda, so oh, I say yeah. that lightly. You know, on the, but but uh, actually great cars. Um, but you know, I have a, a little Civic I run around and well, that's and your daily. That that's you, my daily. You take yeah. to and from work. Yeah, right? I have yeah. a long drive yeah. and, and sometimes I get to run into Philadelphia. Uh, and there's parking decks that are lower than my Jeep sits. So, <laughs> right, you know, but, right, uh, right. But, but yeah, so I have a hankering right now for these half doors and soft windows. And, yeah. You know. And, and the, I, so I, I'm taking it that as we sit around the table and you're a former hard top owner. Right. That we're leaning in that soft top arena. I, I am. Now, granted, you know, if I was going to do something different with this Jeep, if I were going to overland, there is no question you want a hard top. Yeah, you know, if if um, this was going to be a daily driver for me, and I was constantly in and out of the trunk and moving kids around a lot and sports equipment, I would probably still lean towards that hard top. Yeah. But as far as the pure Jeep feel, oh, you, yeah, yeah. you can't beat the soft no. top. You know. No, and I, it, you know, and I get I get mine from up to fully zip down and. Ready to go in less than seven minutes. Oh yeah, they're different. The TJ was a struggle. My my fingers yeah, yeah. were like numb afterwards. It, right, you yeah, know? yeah. But but the uh, the JKs are totally different. I'm sure the JLs. Not much experience with them, but I'm sure they're even better. They have that eight second. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if you haven't seen that, get online and find that. You can put a soft top down in eight seconds. I know. I That's know. ridiculous. But you know, it, I, seven minutes, and I it it's kind of cathartic. Yeah. You know, putting the top down and knowing that I'm going to be free for yes. however long. Yep, yep. Um, so, it, soft top wins. Um, you know, don't at me, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but at me. If you've yeah. got a hard top and you and you just love it and swear by it. Yeah, yeah. throw us out there some, you know, we you can reach us on our, you know, uh, any one of our, our um, you know, Instagram or Facebook. Um, but. We'd like to hear your ideas. Yeah, you know, we're, give your thoughts, give your yeah. opinions. Tell us we're wrong. Yeah, yeah absolutely. We like to learn, and and uh, we'd like to hear. I mean, we know we're right, but, but we're yeah, we're, we're right. right. But no we'd like doubt. to hear what you have to say too. So, uh, absolutely. <laughs> the other side of sanity productions manages and produces podcasts and other social media projects with a team of project managers, designers, and media consultants. They deliver results and help their clients navigate the ever-changing social media marketplace. We threw it out there and we asked for questions. And believe it or not, we already have a couple. So our listeners have actually responded. And we have somebody from Staten Island who um, asked me, which phone mount are you using? And... It's a good question. That's a great question. I think that's one of the most important questions. I agree. Got to have your tech with you. Got to have it. Yep. Um, 
Now, if you're like me, I detested the Uconnect system in mine. So the first thing I did was rip that yeah. out. Much better than new ones. Uh, the JKs were, it was a primitive system. The JLs, I've, I've heard good things. Yeah, they have a Yukon app. Uh, I'm sorry, Uconnect app that is phenomenal. And basically, it, it, it's their version of Apple or Android yeah, radio, yeah. you know, Apple CarPlay or Android. Right. But no, I, it was it was awful. I had it in my in my 2004 Jeep, and I ripped it out too. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing I, was was a given was that I wanted to make sure that I had steering wheel controls. Right. That and once I did that, I was good. But how do you connect up your? What do you hold your phone with? Now I'm I'm an iPhone guy, and I think Don, you're an iPhone yep. guy. Um, but I I, I think. This is technology agnostic, so it doesn't matter which device you have. I went with the Rugged Ridge. Now, there is a couple out there. Some of them don't actually have mounts, but they're actually the mount material, and you have to buy the specific mount for your phone in addition to that. But I went with the Rugged Ridge. Worst name ever, 1355.16. Oh, my God. Worst name. But, man, it's perfect. It sits on my dash. Um, Sounds like it's a Lexus or something. It, it does. I, yeah, I hate I hate. Just give it a name. Yeah. You know, a real name. Yeah. Rugged Ridge All-in-One Kit. Yeah. Or, you know, something yeah, right, stupid right, like right, that. Right, right, um, But no, they simple guys out there. Anyway. <laughs> right. I don't, I don't need numbers. Um, but it's perfect for just putting my phone in and... Not worrying about it. It I actually hold it in the portrait mode or in horizontal. So if I do any off-roading video from mine, I can video it in two different places through the windshield. So that's kind of nice, and that's yeah. one of the reasons I I liked it. Um, I think you do something completely different. Well, so um, I'm a ram mount guy. Oh, I, the ram mount, yeah, yeah. yeah. I I uh, ram mount was like one of the first to the to the field, you know, and and um, so I jumped on it right away. That was, yeah. you know, during my time when I was watching all these guys overlanding and, and they all had them. And I thought, well, if they all have them, they got to be great. And so in my 2011, I had a vector bar, which is a bar that bolts to the top of the dashboard and sits about an inch off the top of the dashboard. It bolts down through the froster vents and you take the mat out of the uh, pocket that's in the center stack. Yeah, yeah. Bolts in there, really sturdy, and then it's made for rams, so ram mounts. And so you grab a ram mount with the with the handlebar um, style uh, uh, mechanism to clamp it to this bar that you put on your dash, yeah. and it, it's it's immovable. I mean, you could roll this thing over end over end, and it's yeah. not going to budge. And to, to boot, the phone's not going anywhere either. Right. Um, now recently, you know, my, my taste in interior has changed and I've really gotten simple. Um, and you know, so with this 2018, I'm going to use the Ram mount with the suction cup on it, um, for the, for the glass. Oh, okay. All right. Um, I've, I've used them. We have them in our work trucks. We have them, um, you know, I have one in my Honda Civic. I get it. It's the Honda Civic, so it's not really going wheeling. <laughs> but it's been on there for right. six months and hasn't moved. Oh, okay. um, they're solid. So, you know, I like them. I've been kind of leery about those suction cups because I've tried them in the past. Yeah. You know, whether it was Skosh or, or right. any other brand. Right. And haven't had good success. Right. But I've heard nothing but good about anything Ram makes. Yeah. This thing hasn't moved one bit. It doesn't shake on the, you know, when you're on the trail, it doesn't okay. shake. I've tried them in the JK. Um, you know, it doesn't. They're phenomenal. Um, and I only use it. I'm not saying it's better than anything else out there. It's what I know. Right. And, and so sometimes, you know, that's what you go with. Right. What you know. What are the people around you using? Don't be afraid to ask or, you know, I, I, like I said, I deal with OK four-wheel drive. And, and um, you know, actually... I got the idea for the vector mount um, through a gentleman that I was watching on YouTube, Chris Schantz, who okay. lives full time out of his Jeep in Overlands. Uh, oh, wow. This guy's, you know, plug for him, but um, check him out at Venture Four Wheel Drive. Um, but he uses a system, and I watched it in his car. I mean, this guy's not a, he's not not afraid to 
drive a dirt road. And right. He's 50 miles an hour in a dirt road, and, and that thing's steady. And so that's what I knew, and that's what I grabbed. Um, there's some other good stuff out there, though, for sure. Yeah, I've, I've heard – well, the, the cool thing about ram mounts, especially if you use the, the bar, man, it, you can attach anything to it. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. and it, sp- iPads, it, yep. it spans the, the length of the, yes. the windshield, yep. and so you can add – anything to it yeah it it's super versatile um 67 designs is another one and i have a, i have never even pulled touched one but i've heard people swear by them for me it you know i'm a i i the iphone design is gorgeous i think 67 designs takes as much effort to design their stuff as as anybody else does and it just looks good in your jeep so i i think don you just pulled that up on, i i did online, i'm looking you? at yeah, it right? online yeah yeah i'd yeah. love your thoughts on that yeah um so I'm, I'm taking a quick look at it and and what's cool is that um you know the kits for the jeeps it looks like they hard mount to the center of the dash um, and it's very adjustable. So that's important to me. Yeah, Jeep is a yeah. tough dashboard because you don't have a whole lot of room between the dash and the window. Right. So right. it becomes really tough and the dash is tight. Um, and what's cool about this, I'm looking at their carbon design. It's completely adjustable. Um, it's hard mounted. So, you know, it's not going to drop off the windshield right. or it's not a sticky pad. That's going to with a magnet that's going to drop off. I know guys that have used magnets, you know, so you slide the magnet or, or, or you know, stick the magnet to the back of your phone. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. The other mount yeah, has. Yeah, yeah. The problem is they'll, they'll stay, but they move around. And right. you, you're readjusting. Um, and really when you want to keep your eyes on the trail, when you got a lot of rocks and you're bouncing around, the last thing you want to do, and at least in my mind, is readjust that phone all the time. Yeah, you know? especially if you use that phone for your maps. Right. Or, you know, something that's crucial in, in your ride. Right. And I think that's cool with the 67 67- designs and I think that's gr- perfect for the Ram and what I'm seeing with the Rugged Ridge is is those things don't move around. It's Correct. the other mounts that, you know, wobble or bounce. Right. Um, I had a Skosh and it was the it just didn't work. You know, and it, it moved around. My um, previous vehicle to this I had that, you know, where do you, where do you put phones? Because sometimes car designers don't think about the phone. No. But it is everyone's going to use it. Right? They're they're using their phone. They're, I'm using mine as my as my GPS. Right? I need it there and I need to be able to see it. And I I think the the Jeep although it's, you know, the we talked about it being so close to the dash or to the window, it's also close to us. There's not a lot of room in there for extraneous stuff. And it's what I think about the the Ram mount gets out of the way of all the stuff yeah, that's in the yep, front. Yep. My rugged ridge gets out of the way. I think the 67 design where it kind of moves around, it can be in front of the radio. It can be right. in front of a event right. or what, but it looks good while it's doing it and it's right. not going anywhere. So actually I'm, I'm on their website and I'm really surprised. They actually have a, uh, they have a vector off-road e-doc package that you oh, okay. can get. So you can use vector stuff. Oh, um, you know, but, and it's funny. I so mean, you can mount it to your RAM mount. No, use... you, you actually mount it to your vector, that vector bar. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, so they have a kit for that. Um, and, you know, the stuff is, from what I can see on the website, it, it looks good. Um, yeah. You know, and they, they claim on their opening page that they're some of the best in the world as far as, uh, you know, docking systems. Yeah. Vehicle docking system. So I hope that answers that question and, and clears it up for, um, I, I believe that was Christian in, in Staten Island that asked that question. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, and Christian, like I said, um, you know, really comes down to preference, but I, I think, you know, just to sum it up very close for you, I think these 67 docks and I think Ram Mount is really good. And, uh, you know, Rugged Ridge is a, is a great company. I don't have any experience with them, but the 1355 point... Well, I'm sorry. Let me start over here. It's the worst one, name three, ever. Five, five, one point one six package. I'm sure you know you've had experience with that, and, yeah. and say it's great. So yeah, that is absolutely the worst name right, ever. Right. So Rugged Ridge, if you ever want to sponsor the show, I'll work with you to come up with some cool names for your there your you products. Go. There you go. This comes to our favorite part. I think that we're going to do, 
and that is product reviews. Yeah, nothing better than parts for the Jeep. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Don, I'm going to hand this over to you, and I'm going to interject from here from time to time. You got it. So, um, you know, since we were talking about the hard top versus soft top, uh, since we were talking about the hard top versus soft top debate, um, I, I actually thought I would do a review on this 2018 Wrangler that um, I put a top on, a soft top on. And like I said, I had no experience um, since I had owned my TJ. So, you know, the TJ we um, we bought in 2004 brand new, um, you know, and, and within three years it had a long arm suspension on it, uh, you know, the, the, the works. And uh, it was wheeled extensively at Roush Creek and, and a little bit at OAOA as it opened up. Um, but as time went on, my family grew and two doors, well, actually they had two seatbelts in the rear, and I had three kids at one time. So um, if you are a Which, police, which kid did you not like? So as a, if you're a police officer, you may want to tune out for a minute. But we'd actually take a tie strap uh, and strap the one in the middle. Um, and we decided that that probably wasn't the best idea. So we bought a JK, and that came with a hard top. Um, and we ran a JK for many years. Uh, and... When it came time to buy this last Jeep, we bought it with the hard top. But like I said, it was last in the Mohegans. Um, traveled uh, two counties over to get this oh, one. Oh, wow. Right. And uh, it came with a, with a, it was a, a hard top, no tint in the windows, um, you know, a, a, a stripped down JK, which is kind of what we were looking for because um, we knew we were going to be building it. Um, and we, quickly decided since we already had one hard top the 2011 which we were gonna you know keep uh we wanted a soft top and and i reached out to my friends at okay four wheel drive mike rouch uh, and mike suggested the best top now i yeah. had done some other tops at the at the shop um quadratech and and uh mastercraft um but he was pretty adamant about me using this best top and it was more expensive and i am a cheap pa dutchman um so you know i was i was a little i was i wasn't ready to pull the trigger yet yeah. but but he talked me into it and i did and um i'll tell you what right from the get-go installing this i knew this was going to fit better so this has the water it's a it's a best top sunrider um it's got the water the drip rails on it oh, the channels yeah the channels oh, and kill for that and i've done them on, on other tops but they didn't fit as nice the, like these fit and we'll put i have pictures of it we'll put pictures up on on uh instagram and facebook as we get to that point um but they fit like a glove i took pictures of them at the time there was no uh, we had no idea we were going to be doing this podcast or putting it out on social media, but it was so impressive yeah. that, you know, I had to take pictures of it. And I took pictures of the way they fit. Then the top went on. And a lot of times when you put these tops on, you have a lot of issues with the way they fit in the back. Yeah. So, you know, you get to the back of the car and there's the two channel uh, clips that clip in next to the tailgate. Yep, yep, yep. And sometimes they just don't clip in and they're half yep. clipped in. And sometimes they're loose and you go for a ride and you come back and they're on clip. Um, sometimes you get, you know, that the, the back side windows have a, um, like a, uh, like a funky bulge to them and, yeah. and, um, this thing fit great. So it's been on for over a year now and not one water leak on it. Yeah. Um, it is an 18 to 23 ounce cloth. So this is just your standard vinyl. I didn't do twill. I didn't do, you know, I couldn't afford the twill. I couldn't afford the, uh, sail cloth. Um, this is standard vinyl and it's not loud on the road. My wife and I can be doing 70 miles an hour in this Jeep going down 78 and still talking. We have a conversation, yeah. you know, um, you know, I've got the best wife in the world because she will tolerate me talking about Jeeps for hours on end. <laughs> right, we're in right. it. And we'll talk about parts and things we want to do and adventures with our family and, and, uh, um, you know, I can do that in there. The old TJ, it's 55 miles an hour. You agreed not to talk until yeah. you got back off the highway. Yeah. Um, well, the best top, they white label um, the tops for um, Jeep. They make all the, the tops for 
soft tops for Jeep. I believe so. Yeah. Whether it's the yep. twill or the cell cloth or whatever, yep. they they make the tops. Yes. So unlike any other manufacturer, they intimately know the yes. Jeep. And so, and here's a little tip, and, and I don't know if this is going to trouble or not, but uh, you know, you if you go and buy a Mopar top, I just had just pulled up the prices on a laptop. You're going to spend twenty two hundred dollars. Yeah. I believe I spent eighteen hundred on yeah. this. That was the cost. Yeah. Of it, you know. And it's exactly the same top. Exactly. The, the difference is, I know that Best Top labels theirs. They've got little sewn-in um, Which labels. looks cool. It's it, on the, it looks yeah. great. It's on the right? driver's side rear window. Uh, you know, it, right. and it looks neat. Yeah. And I have, you know, the Best Top Twill Top on mine. And, but it's the OEM. You right. know, it's the one that came with right. a Jeep. It doesn't have that label. No. And, and, and I'm looking at it now on your Jeep, and it does look cool yeah. seeing that stick out there a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I, I'm, 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 I couldn't be impressed enough. I mean, even putting the top down, um, you know, I've actually had friends that I've put other tops on, and the tops, you know, they, they roll the Sunrider back, and maybe they don't pull – when you roll a Sunrider back, you've got to pull the material back so right, it doesn't right. get pinched. Unfortunately, you know, you're at the drive-in, you've got your family with you, the movie's over, everybody's ready to go, and, um, you know, you decide you're going to throw the top down for the ride home, and you throw it down quickly, and you don't pull it back right, and the material gets pinched. I've seen those tear the tops already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done this in this one, and it doesn't. Really? Yeah, it doesn't. It's It's gotten pinched, but the location, the material they use doesn't have sharp edges yeah, on it, yeah. you know, so it's... Um, hands down, I, I can say, at least through my experiences, that this best top was the right choice. And it wasn't my choice. Um, you know, it was from somebody who had a lot more experience with mm-hmm. it. But but he was right. This best top's phenomenal. Yeah. They've got it. They do it right. You they know, they, they really do. And, they, now, and I, they've been around forever. Forever. I mean, yeah. You know, I don't think they've been doing the tops for Jeep for basically yeah. from the beginning of their, yep. their company. Yep. Um, you know, and they... It's not hard to push the channels in, no. right? You know, in the, in the back, it's not hard. The the one thing I am jealous about is that that channel that gets the water out of the way because oh. I get soaked when yeah. I get in and out of my yep. Jeep. Yeah, nope. and it, it, like I said, this thing is not. It hasn't leaked a bit, and and like I said, it just it looks good. Yeah. I, I can't it complain. Does. Um, and I think it's darker than my cell cloth one was from a color standpoint. It is. It's it's um it's a pretty dark black. It's not uh, as dark as my twill. No, but it does look darker than the other one, which yeah. I like because that really sets off the contrast yeah. in the paint, you know. And yeah, um, and like I said, it's going down the road. It's not loud, and it. it uh, now, when you first put it on, you took it out of the box, right? Right. You took it out of the box, and you go to put it on, and you've got the the tensioners in the back, you know, that yes. you bolt yep. onto the roll bar, which is a pain in the ass. Yep. How big of a pain in the ass was it to actually close it for the first time? Okay, so let me backtrack and just a, a tip to putting these tops on. If you go through their installation instructions, they say, you know, make sure it's at least 72 out. Well, I'm going to say do one better. First thing you need to do is make sure it's at least 72 out, but then lay that top out in the sun. Yeah. Just let it out okay. there and and let it out there for a good hour or two. It's black. It'll absorb the heat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, but ultimately to answer your question, putting this top on, and I've put, like I said, I, I've probably put a dozen to two dozen of these on over the past 20 years that I've been yeah. a, a Jeeper. Um, this one by far has been the easiest, oh, nice. by far. And nice. and it's not, it doesn't fit loose. It doesn't fit too tight. It's yeah. just, it just works. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, it looks great. It look, You know, and you can see some, some tops that sag that aren't best right. top. Um, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. Just, I, I like the look of the best top yeah. top. Yep. Um, and we talked earlier about that, how many Jeeps are going to that fastback look. Yes. Um, and I, I think the fastback look looks great. I had a Mustang fastback. Yep. You know, yep. <laughs> it's a nice slant it's cool. to, the, to the back, I, yep. but it, it eats up so much storage. It does. For for me, I have four kids, so I actually fabbed up a, a third row seat for this. That's yeah. legit for inspection, and um, it's not an option for me. And, and like I said, I I dig the look of the of the fastback. But you're right. There's you know, 
Yeah. You lose a lot of space. You you do lose a lot of space. And, you know, this looks super clean. It's got a good look to it. There's no sags. Right. Right. My 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 tool top, even setting it outside in the sun, I got everything on and then I had to call somebody to help me actually latch the right. inside because right. it just wasn't stretching. It right. wasn't moving enough. No, and I didn't have that issue. I mean, this this That's first awesome. time latching it down, it latched the way it should. And, and, you know, like I said, it's not hard to put the, the you know, the, the rear channels in. It's just, it worked. And, um, you know, by far the best one that I've installed yet. So don't do this in 30 degree weather. Don't Correct. install it. No, you and, and you will have problems if you do that. Yeah, just wait until it's springtime yep. and yep. and do it when it's eighty out. Yep. And you know, sunny. Right, right. I mean if you have if you have you know, I'm trying to not reference our shop and actually I put this one on um, at my house. Um, you know, we've put them on at the shop where we bake them in the booth at hundred and ten degrees. You oh, know? Okay, and, yeah, yeah. You know, in our spray paint booth or um, you know, yeah, if we'll you have them. one of those laying yeah, around right. the backyard. But, <laughs> but, you know, I'm, tr- I'm trying to refer to, uh, you know, how most of us are going to put this right. stuff on. And, and I put this one on here at the house during the summertime. And I throw just, it out in the driveway, throw it in the yard. Yeah, throw it in the yard. And, and went Let in, I had a beer, uh, yep. played with the kids for a little bit, and then went back out and threw it on. Perfect. Perfect. Now, I, I, the sun does wonders for vinyl. It really does. <laughs> it really does. It's like magic. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. No, it's a, it's a great, and I'm glad you you shared that best top with us. That's, yeah, that's absolutely. pretty awesome. Yep. We have some events coming up. We do, and these are um, Jeep enthusiasts of Eastern Pennsylvania and um, extreme terrain events. Yes. One of them is extreme terrain, and one of them is. Um, Jeep enthusiasts of Eastern Pennsylvania. Correct. You want to talk about the 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 Jeep event? Yep. So February 29th uh, at Western Montgomery CTC, we are having um, what we call Jeep Tech Day. So we've set up like five stations. Um, we randomly pick people to bring their Jeeps in. We get them up in the lifts. We show you trail maintenance. So what kind of things should you look for before you go out in the trail? Um, you know, just normal maintenance stuff. We've got some paint repair stuff. So when you're done oh, on the awesome. trail and you have the uh, trail rash, we're, we're going to show you how to buff wet sand a little bit. Um, we're going to talk about alignments. We've got um, Quadratech coming in. Oh, right. Scott from... Yeah. Yeah. How so, cool is that? Yeah. And Scott, like I said in the previous cast, you know, podcast, Scott, Scott's a cool guy. So he's coming in to talk about his uh, power tank setup that they use at Quadratech that they sell. Um, he uses one on his Jeep, and he's doing some pretty wild stuff on his Jeep with it. So that'll be cool. Um, yeah, maybe we could do a product review of one of those on on an episode. I think we're – are we going to record at the show? Uh, we're going to be live at that yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, we are. And so um, we're actually going to have our first guest, which is going to be one of the students at West. Oh, that's Center. awesome. Yeah. Um, who is also a Jeep fanatic, has a, a beautiful Jeep Comanche, lifted Comanche. Oh, cool. Um, and his mom and dad have a JK. Uh, but it, it'll, it should be a really good show. I'm excited right. about it. That'd be exciting. Yeah. And that's yeah. February 29th. Uh, you can get tickets for it through our, our Facebook page. If you go on there under events, you'll see Jeep Tech Day, and it's just a donation. There's no dollar amount. Okay. Tough month. We're okay with a dollar. Uh, you had a good month, good tax return. We'll we'll take some of that from you too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spend it wisely. Absolutely. All the money will go to benefit um, one of our programs at the school that we have, which is a SEMA sponsored event. So our st- students are actually sponsored with the SEMA show, and and we um, every other year we take students to Las Vegas for the SEMA show, oh, and cool. we're going to be doing builds where SEMA pays for. The Jeep and the parts. Um, the SEMA education system is phenomenal, but there is some upfront money, and so that yeah. helps to offset that. We fundraise other ways in the school. This is just one of the, oh, cool. you know, one of the many. Right. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, good work. So, yeah, come to that event, learn a few things, yeah. and just hang out with cool people. Yeah, I think there's food provided. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have burgers. I just bought a new. Sc- uh, new grill, you know. So oh, nice. uh, last year we we all lost our our hair and our arms with the homemade <laughs> charcoal grill. So we we got a new grill, um, burgers and hot dogs, guys, free. Oh, that'd be awesome! Absolutely. All right, check that out on February 29th. 
May 16th, one of the biggest days in Jeep, period, Extreme Terrain does a nationwide um, Go Topless Day celebration. And they end up donating a lot of money. Um, they'll match what a what a Jeep club does for Go Topless that day for that event up to 500 bucks. Yeah. Um, and I know that our Jeep club is, it was last year, the home event for, right. for Extreme Terrain. And they actually came out and did brought their video crew and, and did the video and we're on there. So right. it's pretty awesome. It's a big event. Um, and ours will be going to uh, Mountain View Winery um, in Stroudsburg, I believe. And it's up in the Poconos. And it's a great ride. We raised almost two thousand dollars last year for Meals on Wheels. Yeah, um, and we're going with the same group. Uh, our goal is a lot more Jeeps. So come right. out to to May sixteenth. We'll have that information. Um, we'll probably I'll link to it from our Facebook page on the podcast. Yeah, uh, but as we get closer to that, uh, come out and join us. We've had people come from all over to join us. Yeah. Uh, it's a great event, and the winery is actually going to brew a specific beer this year. Um, it'll have a Jeep logo of some sort on it. And oh, that's gonna, cool. Yeah, we're working right now with with the Brewmeister, and so they're gonna actually going to have a beer that's just for us and the proceeds from that. How do you how do you get a taste? You know that that's narrowed down for Jeep enthusiasts. Yeah. Is it like? A little bit of dirt, or <laughs> there, there's you know. a there's a lot of mud. In there. <laughs> yeah, uh, it. no, we've been working with um, one of the club members is good friends with the Brewmeister and the owners of of the the winery, and the executive members of the of the group have kind of put their ideas out there as far as even even far as logo is concerned, um, and so it's been a good good kind of back and forth and we're planning on going for the brewing of that as well and so we'll actually take part and watch the process and, oh that's cool um so that'd be kind of cool for that and all the proceeds obviously go toward mills on wheels and again i would love to beat that number of two thousand dollars from last sure, year absolutely I'd and, love and to wheels on wheels i mean that, I understand it doesn't always go back to the same group, correct? The the money we raise, or is it going to Meals and Wheels? Again it's going year? to Meals and Wheels this year. We've chosen what a great them group. again. My for... grandfather delivered for Meals and Wheels. Oh, really? For years oh, that's and years awesome. and years. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, that, that there's an organization that has done a lot of good for a lot of people for yeah. a long time, you know. And and really, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna donate money somewhere, uh, a really good organization to donate it to. Yeah, I love it. Um, so that keep that on the calendar, May sixteenth, and that'll be anywhere. Be if you're if you're anywhere, you can go to a, a go topless right. event. Yeah, they have regional events. Yeah, um, but if you're in the Pennsylvania, New Jersey area, come to our event. Hang yeah. out with us. See two hundred other Jeeps hanging yep. out. Um, now, this is normally where we would inject our Jeep of the week. However. We're missing a Jeep of the Week. I, I haven't seen a Jeep of the Week. No. Guys, please, don't make me beg, because it's going to be on video soon, and you'll see me begging. Send us your Jeep of the Week. I'm begging cool. right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm begging right now. Come on! Yeah. You know, it, it, so it's cool. You're not bragging. You're, you know, you're not. We are talking about your Jeep, and we're celebrating that vehicle with you. We're all proud of our Jeeps. So, you know, send us some. We, we would love to have uh, Jeep of the Weeks lined up for the next year. Please uh, take a couple pictures, send us a quick description. We'll fill in the blanks, but we would love to see your Jeeps. It's not as much fun for you, I think, as it is for us. We're oh, just, yeah, we're, we, we're we just want to see what you got out there. Yeah, And then we'll share it with everybody, right? You yeah. want to see your Jeep plastered everywhere? We'll, yep. we'll be happy to do Absolutely. that for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we can be found on Instagram, and let's go ahead and talk about that since you're talking about Jeep of the Week. Instagram, find us, follow us, like us. We're at Jeep Life Pod. So I couldn't afford the last four letters. So it's <laughs> Jeep Life Pod. And that can be found on Instagram. We're on Apple Podcasts. We're on Google Play. We're on Spotify. You can't miss us. Just look for those. Um, 
jeeplifepodcast.com. You can download the podcast straight from there in, in the highest quality you can imagine. So you can go straight from there. YouTube, search for Jeep Life Podcast. We're experimenting right now. I'm looking at the camera with going with a video portion. You probably should have looked at that throughout this video. I forgot totally about that. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see two good-looking guys and a yeah. beautiful Jeep behind, that's a place to go. And you know, we're on YouTube, Jeep Life Podcast. Um, Facebook, Jeep Life Podcast. You can't miss us. Yeah. All right. Don, thanks so much. It's Absolutely. been awesome. Absolutely. As always, till next time. Till next time. See you later. See you. a stress in life. I think the country just mellows me out. And... Uh, my entire life has been anti-country. I, same I, here, but recently... I grew up in the mountains of East Tennessee. No kidding. Couldn't have been more country. <laughs> I lived in Nashville. Right, right. And I was anti-country. And the last four or five years, I catch myself actually wanting yeah. to listen to country. It's been me like last month. I don't I'll know be, country. I'll skip over 96.1, and then all of a sudden lately, it's like mm, 96.1, you know? it's Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What do you do with that? I don't I don't even know, you know, country art. I know a few country artists, don't get me wrong, from being around the Nashville Predators and hockey. I, I think that's part of it. Like, I don't know anything about it, so it's all new. Right, know? right, it's right. Like right. It's, 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 there's nothing tied to it. These are all new experiences. These are, uh, you know. There's something to be said. And, you know, I, I think some countries very adrenaline heavy you it know in the, in the same it's way that, that stp was yeah, or pearl right, jam right. was yeah you know it was very adrenaline heavy heavy and it and i when i listen to it and you know i i, I like some of it mm -hmm. i don't i'm not mm -hmm. offended like no. i used to be no. i used to want to punch somebody yeah. when somebody would play country music. i agree i uh totally agree with you i like i said i i find myself listening to it a lot more than i used to yeah, and uh, you know I hang out with Billy, and that's what he listens to. You and sure it makes total sense. And when he throws it on, I you know I don't want to punch him. Yeah, yeah I'm like, right. I'm not offended. <laughs> <laughs> you you keep doing yeah. it, and you know that's country music. I never thought in a thousand years that I would say I want to do it. I, you know, I want to listen to Same it. Same here. But let me tell you, those girls that listen to country music with their short yeah. shorts and yeah. cowboy boots at the yeah. same time. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, uh, I have a weakness. And I, see, I see that. <laughs> I, I definitely see that. You know, and it's I. I'm a happily married man, but you know, things might happen if <laughs> if a girl with those short shorts and it's cowboy boots. And, it wasn't yeah. like that 20 years ago. No, yeah, so, no, yeah. no, no, no.